right, so today I'm going to explain to you about how to use tables and also how to make tables. All right, so first of all, tables are used in Google Sites especially to organize certain data. Say, for example, if you have a collection of images and you would like to organize them into a rows and columns, you would use tables. If you were to organize, for example, collections of data or statistics, numbers, or even, um, for example, translations of Japanese words to English words, you would you can categorize them and put them into tables. All right, so first of all, tables um, are defined by a certain number of rows and a certain number of columns. Of course, you don't have to know about how many columns or how many rows you, you need because you can always manually add them in later. All right, so first, um, in a Google site page, basically you press table, insert table, and then you drag to a size that you initially want, say, um, five columns by five rows. If you would like to add a column or add a row, you would use these following commands. For example, insert row above will insert a new row above the current row that's currently selected by the, um, the edit mark. If you'd like to insert a column, you would insert a column, you would use the insert column. If you'd like to delete a table or delete a row or delete a column, you would use these three. All right, so first of all, say you'd like to add some text to a table. So you create, insert a new table and say, this is text is for Japanese, this is for English. So here you would be typing Japanese words, for example, If the length of your text is bigger than the size of the current cell, the table automatically resize it for you. Also, you can, um, for example, give attributes, for example, change the font size. You can change how it looks. You can bold, you can also underline, um, italic size it. And you can also change the color. You're also allowed to use hyperlinks. You can also insert lists in tables. Like this, for example. Although for a list, it will not automatically expand. So please be cautious about this, I guess. Um, one last thing is that if you would like to manually expand or resize a cell, you can use the these tools and you can drag or shrink. But you, you're not able to shrink anything less than the size of a, the of a text inside a row. It's, you, you're also, you're not just limited to text, but you're also allowed to use images. Say for example, All right, so I have four example images here, which I will please. All right, um, so I have four images which I'm going to add into this table. So a simple way you can use, hold on. Of course, you have to use insert. A web address. So let it upload.
uh, just something to take note of is that when you're using tables, um, they automatically generate some sort of initial text, which I will show you in a later video on how to replace or basically remove. Um, so one thing to be careful of when using images is to make sure that they're all resized the same, especially in the collection. Otherwise, you will get distorted and weird-looking tables. All right, so see you next time.